is the parking lot across from the medical center and taxis park over here. You see one pulling up right now. Is um, the road, the highway where you catch the bus to Bridgetown or you can go north to Spatestown or all the way up to the island, North Island. And then, as I said, the beach is just beyond the street there, but it's on that side there in that white building. And now we're taking one of my favorite walks while we go grocery shopping. So we are entering what's now called uh, the Chattel Village in Whole Town. And it's, it's just basically now a collection of upscale boutiques. But the interesting thing is these were the original style um, Bajan homes and they were called chattel homes. There's roosters and chickens hanging out here, which is kind of fun. Morning. And now we're getting closer to Massey's grocery store. And this is a taxi stand coming up. And this lady is always here selling artwork. Morning, how are you? Morning. Okay. It's a popular sitting spot for the local guys. Morning. Cab drivers meet up here, have a chat. Some guys hang out here all day playing dominoes. All right, so here's the walkway. Now we got a huge parking lot and we're getting closer. Morning. Hey, morning. To Massey's supermarket. And it's a chain that's popular in the Caribbean. So you can see it's huge, it's modern. So isn't this lovely people? And now I can feel the air conditioning just as I arrive, which is Lovely. Everybody's got their masks on, so I gotta get my mask on. Okay, you can see they still have the uh, Christmas tree up. And they sell all these little Bajan decorations made out of shells, which are lovely. 20 Bajan dollars, which means about $10 US. It was so busy last week when during Christmas I never slowed down to see these because it was always busy in the lobby. So here we are at the entrance. And you can see people are masked up. There's a hand sanitizer station right there. And then this lady, it's okay, I'm talking about you, how you spray the bags. Happy New Year. So she's the one who makes sure you have your mask on and she sprays your bag and then you can enter. Thank you. And then they have some artwork for sale. And that's definitely a painting of the wild side on the East Coast near Bathsheba where the surfers hang out. And here you have a painting of the green monkeys. Well done. And a typical Bajan scene of um, the old sugar mills. And of course, fishing boats. So you can see it's a very, very modern store. About four years ago, it wasn't. And look at this, this is, they really pay attention to all the protocols. And here you can walk in and get your local SIM card, Digicel, but they've got lots of technology support here. And it's lovely to see that they still have Christmas decorations. Water. So everybody's lining up 
Monday morning. Let's hope I can get my water that's cheap. Pellegrino is way too expensive. 635 Beijing, which is three something US. I wanted to show you, they've got an amazing wine section. Australia. Not bad price. $20 Beijing, which is $10 US. We've got Argentina. Wad bottles, 23 Beijing, that's about $12 US. And then translate US to Canadian, that's probably $14. We've got Italy. Italy. Then we've got champagne, sherry, everything you want, beer. The nicest part is this is all air conditioned. So now you've got uh, jelly cheeses. You've got a salad bar that's going to be filled up at lunch. You've got um, a deli section. It's really popular. All the workers come here at lunch hour and pick up sandwiches, subways, pre-made. Just like home. And then you can buy it. So 10 Beijing for a sub gives you $5 US. This is my favorite thing. Once a week I treat myself to barbecued chicken. The thing is though, for a little chicken, it is 29 Beijing dollars which is almost $15 US. So let's say $14 US, $16 Canadian. I just remember Mexico, they were a really good price. You've got lots of fruit from California. I think mangoes are local, so that's something to stick to. But they're $3.79 each. So it's very expensive here. I stick to bananas and I buy watermelon, which is grown locally. And the limes are really good, I think. I forget where they're from. But you've got apples from the United States. You have some product from Canada. I know I saw carrots from Canada. No idea where this is from. And pineapples. I been told are a good buy, but it's not my favorite thing to eat. You've got another service over there, the flow, telephone service there, TV services. It's really one-stop shop. They have a bakery here, you can get fresh bread. any store you've got your dairy products yogurt lots of products from Europe or the state margarines butters thank you orange juice Everybody's stocking up because it's Monday and it, you know it's after the January celebration, so everything was low stock. One of the cheapest cuts of meat here are uh, fresh chicken and pork. That's a big deal here, and so that's what I tend to buy is I eat pork chops a lot with a salad. Salad dressings, freezer meats. I tend to eat very simply. I can't afford all the frozen fish, it's expensive. Some of it's from Norway. I'm sure if I went to a fish market, I would get something, but I'm not. So you've got all the frozen vegetables, fruits. 
anything you want. This is all the freezer section, ice creams, frozen veggies, Breyers ice cream. I'd have to walk real fast so it wouldn't melt by the time I get home. French fries for the oven. It's too hot to cook in the oven. Maybe over there. And then we've got the pharmacy. People picking up their prescriptions, just like home. So I'm in line up now for um, the checkout, and we have to observe the six, uh, the protocol of standing six feet behind. And I should say that you can use your credit card here. I use my Canadian credit card so I can collect points, or you can pay with U.S. credit card, Beijing dollars, U.S. dollars, but they don't take U uh, Canadian cash. They'll take U.S. cash or Beijing dollars. So we'll wait till I go through. And it's now 11.30 in the morning and the lineups are building. So the shop is open till 8 p.m. at night, opens at 8 a.m. And I often come here after six o'clock. It's more pleasant, it's dark, it's nice and cool.